What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do my review of Alien Isolation on the PlayStation 4. This is a game that I just caught in a flash sale a few weeks ago. I finally took a few days to play it and I'm looking forward to doing this review. So I hope you guys enjoy. The Alien video game brand has had some major ups and downs over the past 20 years with disasters like the Alien Colonial Marines game probably being the low point. The games have had fewer hits than misses in all honesty, and I remember playing Alien vs Predator on my Atari Jaguar and coming to the realization that this game was a steamy pile of digital poop. But if you played Alien vs Predator in the arcades in the 90s, it was one of the greatest experiences you could have. That game still holds up to this day, so it goes without saying that the Alien brand has had kind of a fluctuating past. And so, after disasters like the Colonial Marines game, Sega wanted to make up to fans for that huge blunder, and they wanted to create a fresh new take on the Alien brand. And with stealth horror games like Amnesia and Outlast finding dedicated audiences and seeing mainstream success, Sega decided to follow suit and attempt to craft a seminal Alien horror game experience. The one that would pit the player not against hordes of aliens, but a single alien adversary. This new approach was met by seemingly positive attitudes and gamers eager to experience the terror of the Alien films in a new way. I heard about this game way back in the day, way before it even launched, but never had the chance to try it out. But after a well-timed PlayStation Network flash sale and a choice to play a game I'd never played before, I decided to beat the game and now it's time for the Beastly Gamer review. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story. Fifteen years after the events of the Alien film, you take the role of Amanda Ripley, daughter of Ellen Ripley, the star and the main protagonist of the original Alien films. You're informed that a flight recorder has been located on the ship Sevastopol, and this recorder can hold important details regarding your mother's disappearance. And an android named Christopher offers you a spot with the recon team being sent to retrieve the flight recorder. Needing closure, Amanda takes the offer and disembarks on her journey across space and into a nightmare. Once you reach the ship and board it, you find that there are dead crew members everywhere. This of course raises the fear level of you and the team you arrive with, and as you search the ship, you soon realize you're not alone and that there is actually an alien entity stalking you and the remaining survivors, and you must use everything at your disposal to outsmart and avoid this frightening creature. Alien Isolation's name couldn't have been more perfect because you soon find yourself alone, desperately alone, and fighting for your life against all kinds of odds and threats. Humans, androids, and of course the ever-hunting alien are always on the lookout to kill you. There are terminals that you find through exploration that also add backstory and fill in questions of what and how it got so bad on the ship. As you learn more about what happened to the crew and the motivations of some of the survivors, it becomes very clear that survival is the only option and you soon find yourself looking for a way off the ship of death. Gameplay Alien Isolation is a first-person stealth horror game that puts you in situations where you must decide whether to run, fight, or hide. For the most part, running is a horrible idea, as the alien will 100% of the time zero in on your exact location and kill you quickly. There are points where fighting works, though. Humans and androids roam the ship, and the humans are easily killed, but the androids are very, very hard to dismantle. And many weapons are useless on various enemy types, which forces you to think fast on your feet. Everything from shotguns, flamethrowers, to EMP grenades which disable androids temporarily, to pipe bombs and even Molotov cocktails are here, and what you choose to use in any given situation against a foe can spell death or survival. So learning what effects certain weapons have on certain enemies is vital. For instance, a Molotov against a human will kill them, but if you use a Molotov against an android, it'll catch on fire but it'll continue to chase you, and using the same Molotov on the alien causes it to shriek in pain and run to the nearest vent to escape you. This aspect of the game I really enjoyed. Alien Isolation also has a crafting system allowing you to create items when you find enough parts lying around in the ship. Everything from healing items to the earlier mentioned weapons can be crafted and fortified, but always remember that crafting is done in real time, meaning that if an enemy spots you while you're crafting, they will kill you. You're going to do a ton of backtracking in this game, which is made less monotonous by the plethora of save points that you have access to. If you're playing this game for the first time like I was, please take my advice, save every chance you get. This game gave me so much insight into the world of these creatures, these alien creatures. Uh, seeing the way that the creature responds to light 
and sound gave me much more insight into the way that this classic monster hunts its prey. I feel like now if I were to watch the Alien films, I would really be able to relate more to the Alien. Unfortunately though, the game went on for far too long. There were at least eight times where I thought that I had beaten the game only to be quickly turned around and sent to find another generator or open another door quest. Graphics. Alien Isolation looks great. The developer has gone the extra mile to make this game look and feel like the film. Every aspect of the ship's layout feels extremely familiar to Alien fans, and as someone who grew up with the franchise, I must say the creative assembly hit the nail on the head when it comes to the atmosphere because every step I took felt like I was actually in the world of the films. Being a cross-gen title and releasing on 7th and 8th generation consoles and on PC means that the game doesn't look as good as it possibly could by today's standards. For what they did accomplish, I have to say I'm pleased. The character models are not as pretty as I would have liked, but then again, the game was held back, so take that into consideration. The lighting is amazing in the game. Everything from the flare, to the flashlight, to the realistic reflections on surfaces, to the texture work, everything in this game, as far as the atmosphere, was spot on. The alien creature itself is a nightmare come to life. The animation, the way this thing moves, seeing it lurking around and looking for you is very scary, and it serves as a testament to the hard work done capturing the essence of the creature. Sound. This aspect of the game I honestly enjoyed and didn't enjoy at the same time. The sounds of the radar were ripped directly from the film and that was really awesome. You get that same heart thumping action that you felt in the film when they were actually tracking these aliens coming towards them. And that feeling is, is a hell of a rush when you're actually holding up this tracking beacon and you see them coming and you hear them. It just hits you right in the heart. The ambient music would kick in also when you got spotted and so there would be a thunderous boom reminiscent of 80s films that scares the crap out of you because you know something saw you and more than likely is coming after you. The voice acting on the other hand felt phoned in and while it was adequate it never felt like anything more than okay. The sounds of the weapons, the alien and killer androids were awesome and I gotta say in particular the androids were extremely scary because of the things that they would say and how they would say it in such a creepy monotone voice. The creep factor with these androids was honestly off the meter and it's scary as hell when these guys are coming after you because of the things that they're saying to you. The soundtrack and effects were great but again the voice work could have been better. Final thoughts. Sega set out to clean up its act after the blunder that was Colonial Marines and when you compare this game to the former there isn't really any competition. Alien Isolation is a solid game my problem is that there's just way too much game and not enough variety. The last five hours seemed pointless and I feel that the game could have ended much sooner. The developers didn't want to release a game that was too short and so they went and made it way too long. It seems like the developer got so into creating maps and new places to hide that they forgot to add any engaging content to make those last few hours fresh. Instead, I felt like I was just walking around for hours with nothing to do but find an area on a minimap. Add to the mix an ending that is worse than Mass Effect 3's by a mile, and you can't help but feel a little salty. Alien Isolation is a game that is more quantity than quality, a game so grand in scope that the developers lost focus on what the experience should be, and instead only wanted more, more, and even more. If this game was 4-5 to five hours shorter, it would have been awesome, but instead, you begin to feel trolled by the subtle bait and switch of the developers. That, that ever-looming, gotcha, you aren't finished yet. If you haven't played this game and you're a fan of the Alien series, I'd say give it a try. But fair warning, the final act of the game lasts for many, many hours longer than I think it should have. Alien Isolation is a one-time play and a rental at best. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Alien Isolation. I've really, really wanted to get this review done. I played the game and to be totally honest, it drained me. It was one of those situations where if it had been four or five hours shorter, I would have loved it. But playing it and even doing this review, I feel like the game is still stealing time from me. You guys let me know what you think about Alien Isolation in the comments below. If you played this game, do you agree with the review or do you disagree? Let me know how you feel. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the Beastly Gamer channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.